Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Lily and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to work an applied eye cord edging. So in the previous couple of videos I've shown how to make a basic eye cord, then how to pick up into this eye cord to create a nice edge at the beginning of your fabric. So as you can see here this is quite firm, it's a nice stable edge. This is one of the features of my new upwards top pattern. And now I'm going to show you how to work an applied eye cord into the vertical edge of the fabric. So Along the side here, I've just been working in stocking stitch, nothing particularly exciting going on there. And now I'm going to create the same effect as this green eye cord here, along this edge, which will hold it all together nicely, stop it curling, and produce a nice, firm, neat edge. So I have my, my piece already worked, lay that to one side, and then I'm going to use the same yarn again as I've used on my edge here. You would be using a fresh piece of yarn, I'm just not going to break it because I want to be able to reuse this yarn, so we'll just ignore that fact going to cast on four stitches so I'm making a slip knot just the usual way nothing special there tighten that up make it quite tight because you don't want this all loose and gappy and I'm going to cast on four stitches so one two three four so I'm using DPNs here my my piece of knitting is separate pretend that's not attached separate piece of yarn I'm going to use two DPNs so, this is a very similar principle to a regular eye cord, but we're going to attach it to the fabric as we go along. So, I'm going to knit three stitches, not all the way across. So, just knit one, two, three, and then you just need to keep, keep hold of it because it can all slip out when you've not got a lot attached at this point. I'm going to work one yarn over, then I'm going to slip the next stitch. And now is where I begin to start attaching it. So I'm going to just take my piece here and I'm going to, because I want this to be a nice neat corner here, instead of going into the first stitch of this piece, which is what I would do if I'm just going along that edge, I'm actually going to go into the eye cord. So this is how we would do it on my upwards top pattern. Obviously exactly where you insert your needle depends on what you're making, but in principle just into the, the first stitch of that edge. So I'm going to poke it into this eye cord here and pick up one stitch, just a regular picking up and then picking up and knitting a stitch. So there we go, have one stitch. So at this point I will have two, four, six loops on my needle. Now we need to take that back to just four loops. We should always try to end each stage with four loops. So these two stitches here, which were the slip stitch and the yarn over, I'm going to just pass these both over the end stitch, keeping a tight hold of this yarn then it doesn't slide off and we're back to four stitches. So at this point, looking a bit of a scraggly mess. Have faith, it will all come together. So now I slide them back along to the start of the needle and repeat. So knit one, two, three, yarn over, slip one, slipping pearlwise so it doesn't get twisted, and then I'm going to go into this gap here. Exactly which gap to go into depends. Oops, yarn's going flying. It depends what you're making. In my pattern, I give suggested ratios of how many stitches to pick up in each edge. So it might be five stitches in every six rows, or three in every four, or two in every three, whatever it may be. That will depend on the pattern and depend on your exact tension. So I've worked my yarn, slip one, my yarn over, and pick one up and pass another stitch over. Oh, we've gone out of frame there, I do apologise. Slide the stitches back along and repeat. Knit one, two, three, slip one, yarn over, pick up the next stitch and that's back through and then pass these two might be a little bit awkward. Pass two stitches up and over. Still looks a bit of a mess. I will continue for a few more and then hopefully you'll be able to see it taking shape. It's a little bit of a slow method this and there are other ways of creating an eye cord edge. For example you can just pick up and knit, pick up and knit in a regular way um, just picking up around, say, an armhole edge and then use an eye cord bind off. And that works nicely if you're just using one colour. 
but I find this is by far the neatest and cleanest method if you have if you want the edging to be in a contrast colour. There's no like visible line of the, the main colour peeking through or anything like that coming through the gaps. So it's just a nice clean edge and it's nice and firm, which is very handy if you're working little tops or something. Just done a couple more there. You can see it taking shape and I cord along the edge there. Thanks for watching.